This is Sabina at Cross Keys Crafts. As you can see from the mess on my craft table, I have been very busy the last few days trying to figure something out that I saw on YouTube. I actually saw Sam Calcott make cards with shaker domes, a bit like this. This is one I made myself. And you can actually buy these shaker domes, but I'm sometimes a bit tired when it comes to buying expensive materials. And these, where I could find them, were available for like a pound each, plus then maybe postage. And I thought, no, I'll figure out if I can actually make those myself. So I thought, all I need to do is find some sort of shape that I can mould some acetate into. And so I rummaged my drawers and I actually found two little trays that are for candles. It would have been nice if I had two of this one that actually have got the rim because as, as I ex will explain in a moment that was a bit of a problem and um, so I found this smaller one but this actually fits perfectly onto this so I thought this would be great as a mould. I hot glued a cork onto it and then when I did the first mould I found it ended up with a scratch because it had a scratch on the tray. This is why I put some uh, paper inside actually with double-sided tape the whole um, size of it so it wouldn't have any um, unevenness so what I did then is I laid the acetate on the top and I heated it up with my hot tool my Sizzix um, tool has got two settings and I put it on one which I found was enough and I set this on top and I heated it up all around the edges. I can't show you at the moment because I don't have a big piece of acetate left unfortunately because I've been trialing on so many so many times. The biggest problem I had with this was that depending on the acetate it would curl up too much on the edges and I'll show you a few examples I have made. So this one's not too bad but as I said this one had the scratch so that was a bit of a fail. I tried actually tried some um, acetate which I think came out of a picture frame but this one's too thick and it didn't work properly. I also had another one that turned actually it was like shrink plastic and it just shrunk terribly. Um, I don't know, I can't remember now whether I mentioned this before. What this is, this acetate, is actually um, old visors, Covid visors um, and I found they have got a very good thickness to get this right. Um, I tried, also tried a laminating sheet that I had laminated in the laminator before, but that again crinkled a bit too much on the edges, although it would have probably been um, sturdy enough in the middle. Um, I also tried at one point, because I found this was coming up on the edges, to actually just put this on and press a glass on it, but again that wasn't enough pressure on the side, so that didn't work. Um, but then I found if I have enough overhang, this is actually a piece of packaging. Um, so if you have a large piece of packaging that's uh, flat, you can use that. I found that if it has a lot of overhang, it doesn't crinkle and it just crinkles where you don't have a lot of overhang. So this one I could probably redo. So as I said, all I did was lay that on top, heat it up on the edges. Be careful not to heat too much in the middle because that actually... Um, warmed up the hot glue again and the core came off but as I said um, it sort of works and I got quite a few good results with that so all you need to do when you've done that is to cut it down leave a bit of a rim to uh, glue this down and then you can turn these into shaker cards yeah even if it's got a little wrinkle like that that's okay because this is all flat so that's the first version I did for the big one. I made sure I had a nesting die that would be um, big enough to cut into the cardstock so that this would fit. As I said, as soon as I've got um, more acetate of this size, um, I've got some friends who will give me some. I'm going to demonstrate this again, how I actually use this. So as I said, it worked in the end with quite a few trials and this is what I got out of this but then I thought if this is maybe too big and I'm struggling um, getting the shape right with this should I try something smaller 
and I thought oh I'm going um, full on here and I'm going to try a hard shape because I've got this little um, die that is great for the um, coffee mug that I've already shown and I thought it would be nice to actually have a hard shape dome maybe something that you can't buy everywhere so then I played around and thought what do I have as a mold and I thought at first I'd try some um, air dry clay which I have some on the table oh here it is so that's just the cheap stuff you can get I got this from the works it's four pound for the whole pack I use these for other projects obviously and uh, yeah so I thought yeah I would like to try this and make make a little heart that is obviously three dimensional and how I did this is I uh, used some air dry clay and I've got a bit here to demonstrate again what I did so all you need to do is have a bit of air dry clay turn it into a ball mine was actually too big to start with but it doesn't matter because you can redo it until you've got the right amount Make sure it's fairly smooth on the top and you don't have any wrinkles. So, and what I did then is I put a bit of plastic over the top. That is just from a um, sandwich bag. Yeah. And I cut myself um, this shape from the die. I pre-cut it with a die cutting machine, but you actually want quite thick cardstock. So I then um, used my craft knife afterwards. And you want it slightly bigger than the die anyway to make it fit. So, and I even used my nail file to get it quite smooth. It doesn't have to be 100%, but I used this. And what I did then, I flattened this out a bit, a bit more. And then I pressed it into a shape like this. And then you can actually move it around a bit without it squeezing out too much. Make sure it's sort of quite even, not too thick on one side and flat on the other. And you can actually manipulate it quite well whilst it's in that plastic bag. Also press down the sides a bit so whatever squeezed underneath will go there. And once you've done that, you can cut off the edges with a craft knife. that all away and then all I did was I uh, used a bit of water sprayed it a bit and manipulated this a bit with my fingers or you can use a brush make sure it's a soft brush until you actually get a very smooth shape make sure you don't flatten it down again make sure with this it still fits in there and then you have to let it dry which sometimes takes up to 24 hours. And this is when I thought, no, I'm too impatient for this. I can't wait 24 hours. How else can I make this shape? And I remembered that I've actually got some polymer clay, which is this Fimo stuff. But you can get that from other brands as well. And I had some scraps here. So I basically did the same process, process with the plastic bag and the shape here um, and did it with a polymer clay. You need to um, mold it, sorry, in, in your hand, warm it up quite a lot to actually uh, be able to apply it like this. But then you can pop this into the oven and um, it gets hard within half an hour, which is then ready whilst you have to wait for this one. I stuck this on, I've got this little plastic tube from our till rolls. I stuck this on there um, after I then figured out what else to do. I tried to keep this video short, but I just talked you through what I thought I would do. I actually had planned to use it like this one. Put the uh, plastic sheeting on top. Where have I got my shapes? Like that, you know, when it's still stiff. And push it down like this. But I found all of a sudden this was actually too bendy to press this down. And I realised I actually needed it the other way around. I needed to be able to press this into something. And this is when I remembered that I actually have got this uh, putty. It's like a silicon. It's a two-part putty. 
I'll just show you. That's the other one. You mix the white with the blue, and when it's all blended nicely, you can then press any uh, shape into it and uh, have a mold within 20 minutes. So that's what I did with this then. Um, if you don't have this, you can maybe make another, uh, the negative again out of polymer clay or out of this once they're properly dried. So I would take another piece of sandwich bag and press this into the polymer clay. Um, make sure again it's smooth on the inside and then put that in the oven. So you don't need this. I was just getting impatient whilst I was playing around with this. So and I worked out that this is a good method then to use for the smaller dies. As you can see, this was a successful one. And I just quickly want to show you how I did this. So again, I used the visor acetate and I've got two small bits left so I can demonstrate this for you. Sorry if I'm going off screen every now and then. So I just laid it on top. I then took my heat tool. Just switch this off before I forget to say this. I've got the window closed at the moment because I'm videoing and filming this. But obviously, ideally, you have the window open because you're warming up plastic and there will be some fumes. So ideally, try not to inhale those. So all you do is you'll heat it up in the middle and you will be able to see it move. Make sure you don't heat it up too much and it doesn't crinkle too much on it on you. And when you think it's heated up in the middle, you just press this down like a stamp. Leave that in there. And if you're lucky, it hasn't got too many folds. If it does, like, I don't know if you can see this, this has actually quite come up quite a bit. You can always heat it up again there. I even used my tool and pressed it down a bit before. You will cut most of this off, but you want it a bit flat so that the edge of it is flat enough to hide under the cardstock. So. so, and once you leave that to cool, you've actually got a dome. I'm not quite sure you can actually see this. Let me find some white cardstock. So I know I've got one shim here yeah it's really difficult to see on camera but you've actually got a heart shaped dome out of the acetate and i've done a few before um one thing that did not work this one i heated up too much again it's difficult to see on camera but this one actually got a bit milky so try not to heat it up too much you can potentially still use that depending on which sequence you put in there but ideally you try not to heat it up too much in my next video, I will show you how I turn these into cards. And as I said, once I have got more acetate, um, more of the visors, I will show you again how to use uh, this version here. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to subscribe and see more of my videos, press the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon.